It's a review. Hey guys, Dreamman1999 here. Um, got a review of the model I just got in the mail, which I unboxed. You're welcome. Um, but it's an older model. So some facts about the model. It was made in 1977 or 1997. 1990, made in 1997 in West Germany by NZG Models. Um, it's pretty nice, except that on mine, the cab has a small habit of falling off, so we'll just take out the uh, glass for the review. But it's blue, like older NZG Models. I kind of like the look of it without the glass. Because it's got that open cab look, but whatever. Um, anyway, my model is you can see the it's in one fiftieth scale made in Germany. And then if you move up a little bit. Uh, well, it says number 429 forward slash 1, and then it says number 130 there, in 1997. So I think I got the last model made. That would be awesome if I did. Um, it's all die-cast metal. I believe the only th thing that is plastic is this, and then the, oh, the seat actually, the seat and the steering wheel here. Huh, that's pretty cool, the steering So we'll move on to the interior while I still have the cab off. Um, it's extremely, extremely basic. However, I just realized this, and the seat actually turns around. How cool! How cool is that? Don't get that in a Norscott model, do you, huh? And then the steering wheel moves up and down. If you want to drive it like a car, you can. And if you want to drive it like a bus, you can. And then there's your simple four levers thing. Nothing there. Um, now, on to the cab. It's a um, metal piece, 438C. 438C, nothing, and some lights that are just cast. Got your power edge stripe on there, or old cat stripe on there. We'll put the cab back on. <laughs> um, the side shift, it still fully works. And then the boom goes pretty nice for the uh, transport mode. Folds all the way in. The boom, it's single die cast piece, or a couple die cast pieces. The linkage, this is out curl. This is in curl, which is really good. I like the bucket a lot. It's a nice little bucket. And then, this is as far in as it'll go. This is as far out as it'll go. Here's the, do it off the box. 
Here's your digging depth. Compared to a three twelve. Just um just a second. So it can dig almost as deep as a 312, except obviously the bucket is much smaller. Um, the linkage, it's nice, it's metal. So that's the boom. The 312 up there. Now you can easily load a truck with this. And then you can it will go over like that. You can dump it. But uh there's that. Using the P series. Okay, so that's the boom. The outriggers, they don't move single piece casting. Um under carry underside, nothing special. You got your steering back wheels, which is nice. And got a nice angle of steering on the front wheels as well. There's nothing special on the underside. This part here is all metal. So under the under the front, under the loader. I like I like these IT loader arms when they're done right. I mean, I hated Norscots because they didn't do them right. There was just too much going on and. It really limited the amount of um, bucket movement. So, with this, you can like carry some gravel or something in it, which is nice, so it curls all the way back. And then it's still... Ow, the teeth are extremely sharp. And it still dumps all the way forward, so... It did a pretty good job on it. The teeth, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teeth. Um, it's supposed to be a general purpose bucket, but it doesn't open. It's a single piece. Um, now, this is what I really like about it. It raises extremely high. So, you could, lo you could load the P series. I bet you could even load the uh, first gear dump truck. You can even load the first gear dump trucks with it, which is really nice. Um, here are the two old men with each other. Compared to the uh, 312BO. My two old models, both, they are both made in 97. These are both 1997. Um, and the box, it's a different type of box. Got, in this one you have a uh, polystyrene form. And then the guy I bought it from. I don't know what happened there. I bought it off of eBay, so. I'm just glad I got the box with it. I'm gonna put the 
It says here, yes, this one was made by NZG. This is a bona fide NZG model. Compared to the uh, box of the three twelve, which is quite a bit smaller. But the three twelve box says it was made by Norscott. Well, on the uh, three twelve, it says it says NZG. Yeah, it says NGG. But, uh, anyway, I'll grab the tag trailer and I'll show you on the tra tag Here it is on the tag. Looks pretty nice. That's just how I load on my back hose. Um, but uh, yeah, NZG 438 Caterpillar 438C backhoe loader side shift. Really nice model. Oh, and I forgot to mention something else. If you can tell, it's pretty faint, but. There is actually paint missing there, because that is where they painted it on there. You can see, it's more noticeable under here, That this is where it was when they painted it. And you can see the outrigger mark down there. Right up on there, there's no paint. Anyway. So, thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, oh, right, price. Now, if you go to Buffalo Road Imports and search 438C shoot, and find this, the price will be, wait for it, wait for it, $95. Now, I got this for $30, $30 off of eBay. And it's in mint condition with the box. That is why I love eBay. Mint condition. With the freaking box. So, that's why you always keep watch on eBay. You never know what will happen. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.